saxophones are a lot different than the trombones or trumpets, any of those kind of horns, because with a trumpet or a trombone, the sound is coming right out of the bell. So you can they aim it right at the mic and it's easy to do. If you look at a saxophone, a clarinet, whether it's a soprano or a tenor, alto, baritone, when you're playing in the higher register, you notice it's open all the way down and it's open on the end. So the sound that you get out of the whole instrument isn't just here, it's from every opening all around. All around. So you'll hear a lot of people miking, miking the uh, saxophone, not with the bell or the mic right in the end of it. You'll hear it actually mounted here and then curl back up and over. Because oh. if it's coming out of the end, it's a little bit too much pressure. <coughs> On the baritone, I'll find that I'll take it and because when you close it all the way down, the lows are too powerful. It would drive your cones nuts. Uh, you just you have to curl it up and over into the open end of the bell top part. Um, it's it's that's just the way the best way to mic it on a soprano. If it's a clip mic, you put it on the side. If it's this this horn right this mic here, I'd be going down in here. And I think if you were back there, you could if I hold a steady tone, you'd probably be able to tell the difference in the tone quality. If I sit right here and then bring it up and put it in like that, then the tone quality should change. Flutes are similar. Uh, you don't. Yes, you yes. don't. You, the flutes are, are um, always up over the top. Although a lot of the sound is coming out where they blow through, but it's coming out the whole the whole horn. It's radiating all around. Right. Trumpets, the brass instruments, all of those. It's right at the end. It's, uh,